Hey everyone, today's Meatless Monday video is going to be a vegetarian tortilla soup. This is the first time I'm trying out this recipe. So like I always say, if you're watching this video, that means that it was good. It's from one, my cookbook that I'm always telling you guys about. This Make It Easy by Stacy Billis. And let's just get started. Here's the ingredients you're gonna need for it. We're gonna use some grapeseed oil for cooking. Uh, I've got a cup of chopped onions here. I've got four cloves of garlic chopped up. I've got two cups of chopped up sweet potatoes. And then you're gonna need a 15 ounce can of black beans. I've got some here that I cooked before, some dried black beans and froze them. So I'm thawing those out. And then we're gonna need one tablespoon of chopped green chilies and then a 15 ounce can of tomato sauce. We're gonna need four cups of vegetable broth. So I'll just be able to mix this with some water and I'll use that. We're gonna need one teaspoon of cumin, one and a half teaspoons of dried oregano, and then this is just optional. If you want to throw in some chili powder, just a pinch or up to one fourth, however spicy you like it. And then just some salt to taste. So that's all the ingredients you need for the soup. And then for garnishes, you know, you can use whatever you like. I'm gonna use an avocado, uh, some sour cream and pepper jack cheese, but you could uh, keep it vegan and not use either of these. And then just some lime wedges, might chop up some cilantro and crush up some tortilla chips. Um, but that's all the ingredients, so let's get started on making the soup. Okay, we're gonna start out the soup by making the sweet potato and black bean garnish. So I've got two teaspoons of oil heating up over medium heat, and then I'm gonna add to that a half a cup or half of the chopped onions, along with a teaspoon of the garlic, and we're just gonna let that saute for a few minutes. And then to that mixture, we're gonna add half of the sweet potatoes, or one cup worth, and we'll stir those to coat them in the oil. And then I'm gonna add a half a cup of water and we're gonna cover it and let that cook for about eight minutes until the potatoes are cooked through. You wanna make sure and keep an eye on them. Don't let them get too mushy. Most of the water has cooked off. They are very tender. So now we're gonna throw in the black beans along with some salt to taste. I'll probably do about a half a teaspoon there. So you're just gonna combine all that together and let it cook for a couple more minutes to bring all of the flavors together. Okay, so I have moved the black bean and sweet potato mixture to the side. I've got another two teaspoons of oil heating up in my pan again over medium heat. And I'm gonna go ahead and add the remaining onions and garlic and let that cook for another two or three minutes. And then I'm going to throw in the rest of the sweet potatoes along with the one and a half teaspoon of oregano and one teaspoon of cumin. And then we're just going to throw in a tiny bit, oh gosh, Boy, I threw in about an eighth a teaspoon of chili powder. I uh, don't want it to be too spicy. I mean, I doubt my kids will eat this, but you don't have kids if you like spicy then feel free to add more um, and we're just gonna let this uh, cook for about two minutes to bring all the flavors together okay and over here I've got my four cups of vegetable broth I threw that together while the sweet potato and black bean mixture was cooking so I'm gonna add that along with my 15 ounce can of tomato sauce and I'm also gonna add the one tablespoon of the chopped green chilies Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and turn the heat up a little bit to medium high, and we're gonna let this come to a boil. It smells good so far. And then once you get it to a boil, just lower it to medium or wherever. You can get it to a steady simmer. We're gonna cover it and let it cook for 15 minutes, and then it will be done. That was pretty easy, huh? But let's hope it tastes good. Okay, once the sweet potatoes are very tender, your soup is pretty much done. Now the last step, I got a handy dandy uh, hand blender, immersion blender, whatever you want to call it here. I think I've only used it one time, so let's see if I can do this. Um, but you're just going to blend the soup together. You could also use a regular standing blender. Uh, you might have to do it in batches, but that can be used as well. But I'm going to go ahead and attempt to use this. Alright. Now who wants to see my face and see me taste it, hmm? It's really hot. This is without any of the garnishes. We all know the garnishes are really what makes 
soups, like tortilla soup. But let's try it by itself real quick. It is good. It has very good flavor. Not too spicy and definitely a good twist on tortilla soup. Something different. It's really easy to throw together. But let's go ahead and throw the toppings on it and then try it. Okay guys, here's my soup. I just added in some of the black bean and sweet potato mixture. I threw in some pepper jack cheese, a few slices of avocado, a lime. I'll squeeze the lime juice in there. I'll probably crush up some tortilla chips and put those in there. You could also add sour cream, but I'm going to try to uh, use as less dairy as possible in this, but I'm sure it would be delicious with sour cream. But it seriously is really good. Like the flavor is, I don't know how to describe it. It's just like a hearty, earthy flavor. Uh, it's just enough spice. It honestly does kind of taste like chicken to me. I don't know if that's the sweet potato causes that or just the combination of everything, but um, really good flavors. It's a uh, cold, rainy day outside here in Texas, so perfect for soup. But anyways, that is today's Meatless Monday recipe. Thumbs up if you enjoyed it and leave me a comment below if you tried out. And I will see you guys next week. Thank you for watching.